Today on The Topping Show, Bud Light has their worst sales week yet. Biden fundraising off to a slow start. Colin Kaepernick says capitalism is bad while publishing a new book for sale. John Taffer slams Bud Light. Washington State passes California for the highest gas prices. Good humor killing an iconic ice cream novelty. Tesla wins the most American car manufacturer by Cars.com. And their new factory may be in India. FTC to sue Amazon over their prime. And Microsoft to decrease Xbox prices. All that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice a day. Gotta say, he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, that, that's a joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner and need a little assistance, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Now, going on to the business blunder of the day, you have Microsoft raising the prices on Xboxes. Now, this is specifically in regards to the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Game Pass. Now, the monthly subscription, the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, that sounds fancy, it's Ultimate, it's better than Ultimate. Now, the Ultimate will go from $14.99 per month to $16.99 per month, and the base rental pass thingamajig will go from $9.99 per month to $10.99 per month, which again, in terms of marketing, eh, because... $9.99 $9.99 sounds much more palatable as a consumable product than breaking the $10 mark. You see this with wine in particular. A lot of these categories, like I believe 97% of all wine sold in the United States, according to Kevin O'Leary, like this a couple years ago, is under $9.99 per bottle. So an uh, overwhelming majority of the whole market is under a certain price point, and you're conditioned that that is an acceptable price point. And also just mentally, $9.99, it's a so much cheaper than ten dollars now i guess it's so much cheaper than eleven dollars but breaking that digit going from one digit 999 to two digit 1099 when a lot of people are starting to tighten their belts which is especially hard in america because obesity problem but they're trying to decrease the amount of money they're wasting every month and again video games are a luxury not a need they're gonna probably see this on the credit card statement hopefully they'll be like do i really need to do that or pay for that monthly subscription when you got 40 year high inflation, uncertainty of the job market. No, we do not need this. Let's cut this. Now, you also have the Xbox Series X console. They're going to be increasing their price to match Sony, which Sony makes the PlayStation. Fun business fact the PlayStation 2 is the number one selling system in history by number of units sold. Now you can win a trivia tonight. You're welcome. Now, they're raising the price to, oh, these are funny. Plenty of different uh, currencies. Four, 479.99 pounds, 549.99 European Union credit things, and 649.99 Canadian beaver chips, 799.99 Australian widgets, all starting August 1st. The good news is that the Xbox Series S will not be adjusted to any markets other markets and they'll remain at $299.99 price point. Now the business blunder goes to the fact for a few reasons. One, you had a competitive advancer advantage against PlayStation and you're throwing it away to match them. And again, the purpose of a console, you do not make a profit on the console. That's been, in terms of value to the end user, it is a great value because there's more tech and more product and more materials in that, that in the product that you're actually getting than you're actually paying for. For this has been quite some time. And the reason is once you buy that platform, you're locked in. You can only buy games for that system. So traditionally, a majority of the profits would come from the video games, which again, video games nowadays are basically, in terms of manufacturing process, they're basically free. You just, it used to be back in the day, you have chips and circuit boards for a cartridge system, such as on the best video game system ever, Nintendo 64. Nowadays, if you don't download it, it's just a disc, which a CD is just, the machines just clap them out. It is fast, cheap manufacturing. You probably get under, I would venture, 80 cents per unit when it comes to the cost of the plastic for the little flip case and the actual disc itself. That manufacturing is basically free. So there's a lot of profit in the games. And again, there are certain games that are exclusive to the console. 
in my opinion, one of the only reasons Xbox grew to such dominance in the video game market was because of the exclusivity of Halo, which for years is one of the most best, it's one of the best games. I remember the old LAN parties or local area network parties where you connect it with ethernet cables and yeah, I, I am aging myself, but I digress. To have this competitive advantage when it's cheaper than PlayStation, I know you're losing money on the product at that price point already, but why take that advantage away when we're at a point where people are starting to examine more and more of where their money is going and trying to get more and more of a return on investment or a better value. Granted, there's not a return on investment on a video game system. You're not making money unless you're a streamer getting paid. But I digress. People are starting to look at their pocketbooks and evaluate more, more scrutinize where their money is going. So to have such a competitive advantage price point when you're winning against PlayStation, which in terms of video game consoles, that's the main rivalry. Nintendo is one of the most famed legacy manufacturers when it comes to video games and entertainment in general, but it is, it's a different category. Microsoft, you have Microsoft and PlayStation with Sony. When it comes to Apple's Apple's comparison, they have, it's the most, it's the most accurate comparison. Nintendo is a little underpowered in terms of the actual processor and all that stuff. And, the games are different, it's a different feel. To have your most liked competitor and you're gonna give that, you're basically gonna get rid of the competitive advantage you have. That's that's the business model of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Can't thank you enough for taking time to like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things greatly helps out the channel. All your, all your feedback and critique also greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone to stay safe and fight the good fight.